Hello children. Now we are going to place a screen on the back of the mirror. What is it? Now we are going to place the screen on the back of the mirror. And we must observe whether we are able to get any image on the screen. So if we see that we are not able to get any image on the screen. So the image formed by the plane mirror is virtual. Right? We are not going to get any image here. So it is virtual. So the characteristics of the image formed by plane mirror. What are the characteristics of the image? The first thing is they are erect. Virtual. Laterally inverted. And then size of the object and the size of the image are same. And the image of the distance and the object are same. This is what we are going to get as a result. What is it? First one is erect. The first one is erect. Second one is virtual. What is mean by erect? Look at here. So the same right and then virtual. The second one is virtual. And then the third thing. What is the third thing children? So the image formed is laterally inverted. Yes, left and right inversion and the size of object and image are same and the image and the distance of the object are distance are same. The distance between object and the mirror and then mirror and the image are same. These are all the five characteristics noted down children. Characteristics of image formed by plane mirror. So this is what right? This is the characteristics of the image formed by a plane mirror. First one erect, virtual, laterally inverted, size of the object and the image are same and then the image distance and the object distance are same. These are all the five characteristics which we are going to get. Clear children? Now we have completed this. So what are the characteristics formed by plane mirror. Next we are going to see the characteristics of the image formed by convex mirror and then concave mirror. Shall we go? That is the next video. We will see that. What is the children characteristics of the image formed by plane mirror? I said you right. Same size as that of the object. Look at here. The size are same. The distance from object and mirror and distance from image and the mirror are same. That is the second point, right? And then, these all points I have said you, just have a note of all these points. Okay, this is an important question. Now, what is the next thing? Image formed by concave mirror. I said totally we have two types of spherical mirrors. One is concave mirror and then convex mirror. Today, we will see the image formed by concave mirror. How the image is formed in concave mirror? What are all the characteristics of the image? And then what are all the uses of the concave mirror? Are you ready? Yes. The next topic is playing with spherical mirrors. So what is that? Spherical mirrors. Right? So they are either outward bulge or inward bulge. What do you mean by spherical mirror children? They are Spherical in shape. What is it? They are spherical in shape. So they are called as spherical mirrors. And then what are the two types of spherical mirrors? They are convex mirror and then concave mirror. Look at this convex mirror is bulged outward. Concave is bent inward. Okay. This is convex mirror and then concave mirror. Look at here. What is this concave? Look at here. This is the reflecting surface. Cave like structure, right? So this is the reflecting surface. But whereas in the case of convex mirror, this is the reflecting surface. The reflecting surface is this side. Convex, it is a curved mirror in which the reflecting surface is bulged outwards. But in concave, inwards. Clear children? Now shall we move on to the next one? What is this? Curved mirror form different types of images. Look at here. What are the images which formed in 
the spherical mirrors either they are big either they are small have you played like this children with some lenses have you seen lenses children yes the dentist used to have right either anyone seen through that yes the image will be bigger in size yes or no so this mirrors produce different types of images now we are going to study about concave mirror what is it how the image formed by a concave mirror is first for this we need to take a concave mirror a screen and then a candle what are the three things first first we are going to try this in the sunlight if you have a concave mirror children just take that if you are having a concave mirror just take the concave mirror and show that in bright sunlight and keep keep a screen opposite to that concave mirror okay just reflect that sunlight on the screen and observe whether you are able to see that on the screen or not okay adjust the mirror so that the sharp bright spot is obtained on the screen this is the first thing which you are going to now i don't have any concave mirrors so i am not able to do this to you that is why i am showing you this video okay children for the next thing what do we observe here so the bright spot on the screen of the sun image we get the image is formed on the screen so what do we know from this so the image is formed in this mirror so what is that image if you are getting the image on the screen what it is called yes it is called as real image if you are going to get image on the screen this is called as real image so one point is clear convex mirror sorry concave mirror produces a real image concave mirror produce real image now for the next activity you need a candle concave mirror and then screen what is it you need a candle concave mirror and then screen so light the candle okay and place this candle in between the mirror and the screen we are going to fix the concave mirror place a candle at a distance of some centimeters in front of the mirror and place the screen and then adjust the screen adjust the screen so that you get a clear image of this candle on the screen so place the screen in such a way so that is why you want to adjust the screen so that you can get a clear image on the screen clear children up to this so look at the screen how the image is either it is erect or inverted yes so here the image formed is inverted is yes or no it is upright down upside down next thing what we are going to do is we are observed an inverted image is yes or no? we observed that the image of the candle is inverted image and then real real means we are able to get that on the screen that is the thing right children so concave mirror form real image what do you mean by real image we are able to get the image on the screen second point is inverted image real image and then inverted image next we are going to adjust this candle what is this next we are going to adjust this candle so move this candle near to the mirror move this candle near to the mirror so what do we observe at that time so here our recording so okay so what do we observe children we are able to observe so look at here we observe that the screen has moved further if you are moving the candle near to the mirror so we can see that the screen has moved far and then the object comes closer to the mirror the image moves away from it when the object comes closer to the mirror the image goes away if you want you can look at here children 
so when we have, you have moved this look at here so this image has gone further image has become far away from the object yes or no when i move this candle near to the mirror when i move this candle near to the mirror so the image appeared to go far away the image appeared to go far away okay that is the next thing so if i keep going to keep on adjusting it what happens look at here also the size of the image on the screen also increases these are all the three points if i am going to move the candle near to the mirror so the screen seems to be goes further screen has moved further and image also goes far away image also goes far away and the size of the image increases the size of the image increases these are all the three points which we observe look at here size of the image increased yes or no and screen moves further image also moves further and then the size also increases now after this if i am going to keep on move this keep on moving that image that the candle near what happens we are not able to get any image on the screen i am going to bring the cat candle very much closer to the mirror candle very much closer to the mirror i am not going to get any image on the screen i am not going to get any image on the screen if you have concave mirror children just try this if i get i'll do that and send you that okay children look at here here we are not able to get any image yes or no so from this experiments what are the conclusions we get depending on the position of the object and image what is the characteristics of it we are able to get real image virtual image enlarged diminished same size as that of object erect inverted so we are going to get all these types of objects in concave mirror we are going to get all these types of objects in concave mirror so real means what first we got on the screen so we get real image and how is that real image it is inverted so one thing and then virtual when i move that candle closer to the mirror i am not going to get any image so that is the virtual virtual image is always erect and then diminish when i keep on moving 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 what happens it slowly disappear and then same size as the top object if i move it close and the object also the same so these are all the conclusions which we get from this activity so this is the characteristics of the object which is formed by a concave mirror just note down these points children we had seen characteristics of the object formed by plane mirror is yes or no we had seen plane mirror and then characteristics of the object formed by a concave mirror these are all the two topics which we have discussed if you have any doubt in this if you have any doubt in this clarify me clarify with me okay in the next class we will be seeing what are all the characteristics of the image formed by convex mirror characteristics of the image formed by convex mirror and then look at here these are all the uses of concave mirror where the concave mirror was used first they are used in solar cookers have you heard about solar cooker children solar water heater room heater yes sir no so likewise we have solar cooker for cooking also okay and then in saloons telescope torch and then in shaving glass so these are all the places where we use concave mirror just have a note of it what are the uses of concave mirror in solar cookers saloons telescope torch and then shaving glass so these are all some of the uses of concave mirror 
So children, I hope you understand.